Good morning, Foley High School. Will you please stand for a moment of silent meditation and remain standing as we honor our nation in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. And now, join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Foley High School. Welcome to the Lion Pride News Network. Buenos dias, I'm Diana Shapiro. And I'm Lydia Williams. It's a new week here at the Lion Pride News. Follow me and let's see what's going around the school campus today. Students, you will be given the opportunity to participate in the Youth Leadership Initiative's mock presidential election on Wednesday. Polls will be set up in the cafeteria from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Results of the FHS mock election will be added to the national tally. Make sure your vote is counted. Anyone that would like to audition to sing the National Anthem for Fuller High School's Veterans Day program, please go by and see Miss Houston in room 404 and sign up. Auditions will be held Thursday after school in room 404. Are you interested in robotics? Want to learn programming? Do you like to put things together? And do you like to be in control? Then sign up for Robotics Research and Design. Stop by Mr. Forbes room 917 for more information. Today's weather is a high of 66 a low of 42, and it's going to be sunny with no chance of rain. Good morning. I'm Kaylee Neitzel here with the Lion Pride News Network, and we're here with the SEMA Fell, who won first place at the Baldwin County Cattlewoman's Beef Cook-Off. Now, the SEMA, what dish did you prepare for the cook-off? I made beef cut pie. Sounds delicious. So, are you excited for representing Baldwin County at the state championship? Yes. All right. There you have it. If you see her in the hallway, give her a big congratulations. Now, back to the news. All Interact members need to meet in front of the library on Tuesday immediately after school for a group picture. Please wear your Interact shirt for the picture. Seniors, please take any and all scholarship offers to Miss Moore in room 210. Even if you are not accepting the scholarship, we need a record of it for our school total. All of these scholarships will be in the program for Senior Award Night in May. The bed with much meat, chicken for tender, it's mashed potatoes, biscuit, grape tomatoes, and dip. And don't forget your milk. What? Attention all football, cheerleader, sports medicine, band, and ROTC seniors. Your senior night information forms are due to Miss Lee in room 702 today. If you plan on participating in the senior night, turn in your forms to your coach or Miss Lee by 305 today. Make sure you come out to the big doubleheader tonight. Baseball? No. It's a football doubleheader. Our middle school and freshman football teams are undefeated and will play Spanish Fort High School for the county championship tonight at 6 p.m. at Ivan Jones Stadium. Come out and support our teams and help cheer the teams on to victory. Hey, do you want to play your favorite administrator? Or how about your favorite teacher? See me today at lunch to find out how. Hi, this is Logan Lane with another episode of Logan's Lane. And today, we have a very serious question that I would like to address. Why are people always gossiping and talking about others? Well, I don't really know the answer to that. And honestly, I wish people wouldn't do that. But you know, I believe that the reason why people do that is because they simply like to judge books by their cover. I'm sorry if you, the person that wrote this, have to be made fun of or have people talk about you because that's not right. And people make fun of me on a daily basis and people make fun of others on a daily basis and I don't know why they do. It's ridiculous, it's ignorant, and it's wrong. However, if you feel this way, I want you to know that I personally care about you and that you shouldn't have to worry about what other ignorant people have to say about you. 
People shouldn't make fun and people shouldn't gossip because there's no sense in it. All it is is, is hate. And hate is not something that we need to strive for at all. Hate is ignorance, and ignorance ignorant is not something that you need to be. If we could all try to get to know people, try to understand people, and try to judge people based on their character instead of their race, their gender, their sexuality, whatever it may be, a person is a person, and a person deserves a chance. And if we're not willing to open up that book and read it, then we have no right to judge the cover. Judge it, but judge the book based on its cover. So that's all I have to say for today. And I hope that the person who wrote this, I hope that people will begin to make a difference and stop acting the way that they do. And I hope that you will be treated better. And I hope that those of you who do do this, I hope that you will begin to treat others better. And try to put yourself in their shoes. It all goes back to the golden rule. You'd like to treat others as you would like to be treated. So why do we treat others badly? It doesn't make sense and it should not continue. We're fixing to, we are soon to be adults. So let's act like mature adults. Instead of saying ignorant comments and saying things that are nothing but hate. That's all I have to say for today. I'll be back next Monday with more questions, comments, concerns from around campus. I'm the voice of the people. This is Logan Lane with Logan's Lane. Thanks for letting us show you all the activities going on around school today. Join us again tomorrow as we bring you more announcements from around our campus. Have a magnificent Monday. This is the Lion Pride News Network.